And now, your Fox 24 local weather authority forecast. It's a very cold Tuesday morning across the basin. This is a live look for the tall city. The sun behind me looks great, but do not be deceived. The sunny conditions right now are you know, not really warming things up too much. It's only beginning to warm up clouds off to the south. There will be more clouds in the increase throughout the basin today, making it a little bit of a gloomy day later in the day. But yeah, partly cloudy right now. Sitting in the mid 20s, we're not seeing any rain or snow in the Midland and Odessa area, despite more clouds in the increase from the south and west moving off towards the east northeast. Clear skies in northern areas allowing for radiation cooling, meaning that from the daytime hours yesterday, ever since that cold front came through, Clear skies, drier air, and lighter winds have allowed those temperatures to really, yeah, really drop out there well below freezing for many. A little bit milder, though, in places like Marfa because they are seeing more clouds. Some actually streaks of greens and whites on the satellite and radar showing maybe a couple of light raindrops and snow flurries, but generally not reaching the ground because, as I mentioned, there's enough dry air in the atmosphere. We're likely not to see any rain or snow for most of the basin today. Despite more clouds and the increase throughout the afternoon hours, it will be, yeah, likely rain-free and snow-free, but a little bit more gloomy throughout the day today. Yeah, it's just beginning to warm up. Earlier this morning in the tall city, it tied a daily record low temperature set back in 1932 at 24. I think we'll warm up to 26. Still, yeah, bone chilling out there below freezing, so make sure you guys bundle up. It'll be in the mid to upper 40s by the afternoon. Very cloudy, very chilly. Average high 67. I'm predicting 49. Inevitably this afternoon, right around 48 at 4 p.m., cooling off in the lower 40s, upper 30s, just after 8 p.m. So initial conditions on this model, doing a pretty good job depicting these temperatures very close to the upper teens in places like Tatum lower 30s and upper 20s and Marfa and Alpine temperatures will skyrocket as the morning progresses and then not warm up too much by the afternoon. 40s and 50s for much of the basin might reach the lower 60s near the Rio Grande near Presidio so that'll be the warm spot in the basin. The chillier spots in places like the Guadalupe Mountains where temperatures will struggle to reach the 40s. 30s and 40s right around 9 or 10 p.m. perhaps by the time you guys are getting ready to go to bed Overnight, not quite as cold because of more of those clouds absorbing that infrared radiation from the daytime hours today. Just enough where it won't be quite as chilly. Low temperatures still pretty cold, though, in the 30s. as winds pretty light at the east-northeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. You know, a little breezy out there. Not quite as breezy as yesterday, but making it feel like the upper teens right now in Midland and Odessa. Those winds coming in from the east-northeast right around 5 to 15 miles per hour within the next few hours. Still pretty breezy in the evening hours breezier in southern parts of the basin where winds may gust close to 20 to 30 miles per hour. But again, not quite as breezy as yesterday. Lighter winds overnight. Now, it won't be quite as cold tomorrow morning. As I mentioned, mostly cloudy. Right around the freezing mark, still feeling like winter for this time of year. So make sure you guys bundle up, not just this morning, but also for tomorrow morning. Below normal temperatures either way. This morning, this afternoon, tonight, tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon, it will be a little bit milder, a little bit sunnier on Thursday, but another cool down arriving Friday and Saturday.